Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today's look is obviously a very, very wearable everyday look that you can throw together in five minutes and be out the door. Yeah, so today's look really is me just kind of fooling around with my kick liners from MBA Cosmetics and just seeing what I could come up with. I have seen multiple I don't know, I guess, multiple images on uh, Instagram and a few on Pinterest where people have done some stained glass stuff on their face and on their eyes, and I thought it would be fun to try my hand at it. I've been enjoying doing some more graphic uh, things lately, so I thought, mm, let's see if I can pull that off and put it on my eyes, and uh, yeah, I, I did. I actually like the way this turned out today, so if you're interested in seeing how I did this, stick around. We're going to get started in just a second, but before you do, if you're new here, I'm Annie. This is See My Bliss underscore beauty. I am a 43-year-old lover of color. I have the philosophy that you can wear color at any age. You do not have to be young to enjoy bright, colorful, fun makeup. So, uh, if you that sounds interesting. It would be awesome if you would hit the like button and maybe subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started in, and talk about a little bit about the products I'm using. Like I said, the main product that I'm using are these aqua liners from MBA Cosmetics. They come in these little tiny pots. And if you've never seen a water activated liner or a cake eyeliner, uh, they look like this. They're super easy to use. They are basically just a dry little cake of pigment. You can see I have none on my hands even though I'm pushing really hard on that uh, and I get none nothing on my fingers so these are water activated liners and it's basically like using um, watercolors on your on your face they're more pigmented than what you think like a Crayola you know uh, watercolor paints are but they're basically the same principle you just wet these with water and then you paint your face. They are safe for your eyes. You can use them all over your face as face paint, as body paint. You can use them on their, your lips to do lip art. The only place you can't use these is in your waterline because they are water activated. If you put them in your waterline, they are going to go everywhere and you are going to be you're, you're gonna hate yourself, so don't do that. So the MBA Cosmetic ones come in a variety of super fun colors. I have the neons, but I also have the pastel. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna use these MBA cake liners and we are going to use that for the majority of the look. For the black part of my look, I did not use black eyeliner. I have found it my age. My eyelids, eyelids are not as springy and taut as they once were in my youth. Uh, so that's just using, you know, something like, um, I can't even find any, you know, like a, an eyeliner pen is just too tuggy. Same with a gel eyeliner. It just tugs way too much. And liquid eyeliners, I don't, I don't know. I, I haven't found a formula in just a straight up liquid that I totally love. So instead of using eyeliner for the black, what I actually used is this little face palette here. This is just a face painting palette. And again, these are water activated Oh, as well. Super, super cheap. As you can see, this one just kind of like plopped out. The black did. Um, I used the black obviously for the black. And these work exactly the same way as the cake liners. You just wet your brush, you swirl it around just like you would watercolors, and you paint it on. And I am having a really hard time with this black right now. This was a very cheap palette. I got it off of Amazon for about $16. The formula is different than a cake liner. You can see my fingers here have some black on them from handling that black uh, puck of paint that keeps falling out and really kind of messing up everything else. Uh, but what's nice about these is, again, you can use these all over your face, all over your body for painting. And the reason I chose this palette instead, they have a whole bunch of them on Amazon, is because they have the two big pots of the white and the black so you can really mix colors and get them exactly the way you want them. You can also do that with your cake liners as well, but I just find that this works great for 
for everything. Yeah, so those are the two products that I used. I also used these very, very tiny brushes. These still have some paint on them so you can hopefully kind of see the tips. They are very, very, very fine brushes. These are actually nail art brushes and that's what allows you to get those really fine, sharp lines. Uh, so yeah, those are the two products I used basically. And let's go ahead and just dive right in and get started. This is gonna be a long video. I'm not gonna talk you through it. I am just going to uh, put it on fast forward and um, maybe have some cute music playing or something like that. And we'll just go, otherwise you'll be here forever because it took me a good three hours to do this eye look today. So here we go. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start by mapping out the shape that I want on my eye. I'm just gonna map out the basic shape and basic um, stained glass piece of shape. I am not going to try to match the two eyes as far as the stained glass little fragments go, but I'm gonna try to match the general overall shape of the eye. So I'm just gonna use a brown shadow to do this on this little tiny fine lash brush. Um, excuse me, fine liner brush from uh, Lavish. And the brown shadow I'm gonna use is, is this shade Chill out of my Nomad Cosmetic Encinitas palette. And like I said, I'm just going to kind of map out that shape. I'ma keep it cool with you. I feel a breaking rules on the edge. Looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too. Playing around without a clue on the edge. Cleaning out with us, it's all or nothing. So now that I've got the basic shape outlined, you can see that I did come in here and add some little pieces already. Um, I have, because I have hooded eyes, I wanna make sure that I don't have too many lines that are um, bisecting that, that hood. It just doesn't look great. I want when my eyes are open for most of that to be hidden. I do have a little bit happening over here, um, but it's, I, I don't want, to have a bunch of broken lines when my eyes are open. Um, and also, my eyes are not shaped the same. This one's a little droopier than the other one. Um, although this one's looking a little droopy today, I don't know. Uh, so I want to make sure that I kind of do what flatters the eye shape, not try to match them perfectly. So now I'm just gonna go in and draw some little shapes and then we'll get started with the fun stuff. great thing about this type of look is it doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to make, worry about making those lines like perfect to start with uh, because you're going to go in at the last step to add the black and you can clean everything up that way. So now that I have my basic kind of shape map, mapped out, I'm going to start going in with my colorful liners. So I'm using um, six shades. I'm using a yellow, a purple, uh, a pink, a blue, clearly a green and an orange. So I like to start from the lightest color and then just go kind of up the spectrum that way. So I'm just gonna take again some water. I'm going to spray it into the little cap. Now these are water activated liners, hence the water. If you've never used these before, they're super easy. You just get a little water put your brush in it, swirl it around, and then paint it on your eyes. Super simple, super easy. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and use these really teeny tiny nail art brushes. These are just some really cheap ones I picked up on Amazon. And I'm just going to 
get some water on my brush and then I'm just going to swirl my brush in my little pot of liner and then I'm going to start painting. I am going to go ahead and start with the yellow over here in the corner just because I like that kind of brightness there. I'm not sure I'm happy with the shape I drew there and again what's great about this is you can change all that. this is in focus oh my gosh going in with the orange now Now we're going to go ahead and pick up the pink. Say a bunch of stuff you never meet, yeah. I think I need a minute to figure out my limits. It costs them more than once, yeah. You take my love for granted. We keep on talking from back. going to go ahead and bring in some green
and now we're going to start using the darker shades. So I'm going to go in with the purple first. All right, and now we're going to go in with the blue. And I looked a little space here. I'm not sure what I want to put there yet. We'll have to wait and see. Left me with scars. It's bittersweet. I'm heading this part. Used to be lovers without living. Now we're just an enemies, baby. So I think for this little space right here, I'm going to go in with a bit more of the green. Okay, so I'm done with the colors and this step here is I think where the magic kind of happens. Right now it just looks kind of like a hot, hot mess. Um, so now I'm going to go in with some black. Enemies, baby. We could keep on fighting, keep on dreaming. But how can a soul dream a love Okay, I am going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face, clean things up. This line got a little bit um, big. <laughs> big. So the nice thing about these is because they're water-based, they clean up 
very, very easily. So I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of smooth that out, clean that up a bit, finish the rest of my face. And then we'll worry about the inner corners. I know they look completely unfinished right now because they are. I want to bring it down uh, kind of and make a, like an inner point here. But I need to put the base, my base on to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so for my inner corner highlight, I just went in with uh, this shade here from Midas Cosmetics. It's just a kind of really bright white shade uh, called Star Jewel. I just want something light and bright there in the inner corner. And now I'm going to figure out how I want to go ahead and do this. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some pink down on this side and then we'll, we'll see about what's happening over here. So I'm gonna take that super small brush, that really the smallest one that I, I kind of have here, and I'm going to start with the pink. And I think I'm going to do pink on this side as well. Then I think I'm just going to add a little bit of green on this side. We're going to kind of make these two inner corners kind of not match exactly, but kind of coordinate. We're going to use the same colors, but the shapes are not going to be the same. Now we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more black there in the inner corner. Then I'm not going to put up any black there by the green. I just kind of want to let that kind of fade in. Okay, I think that I am happy with the way that's looking. For my lower lash, oh, I was a little high up there. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna keep it super simple. I am just really gonna just go in and smoke it out with a black shadow. So first I'm going to go ahead and add some black eyeliner. We'll just use this uh, Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil in the shade zero. And for my black shadow, I'm just going to pull the shade Noir out of my uh, Sultry palette. You can use whatever black shadow you have on hand. So now I'm just going to go ahead and off camera I'm going to put some mascara on. This is where I really wish I wore false lashes, but I don't. And I originally done this nude lip, but I'm thinking I might switch it out for maybe a red. I, I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I will be right back with the complete look, so hang tight. Okay, so here is the final look. I did decide to go ahead and use a red lipstick. I used, what is this? Crimson, I think, Crimson from Urban Decay. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look at those eyes. I went ahead and added just a little bit of glitter. You probably can't see it just here and just under my brow bone, but these lights don't pick it up. And let's go ahead and zoom out. Okay, and so there it is, the super easy, super wearable, super not time consuming at all, uh, stained glass eye look. Yeah. Anyways, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It is now 4.02. Gotta go make dinner 
and uh, wash my face. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button down below. And while you're there, just scooch on over and hit subscribe. If you would like to see more of me, I am on Instagram at seemybliss underscore beauty. It's the same thing that I am here. And I hope you all have a fabulous afternoon, morning, day, night, whatever time of day it is. I hope it's fabulous for you. Bye.